Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to properly bring in a DST file into the program by bringing it in using the manufacturer's thread uh, charts that we saved to our system here basically. We created a video earlier on how to uh, go in and, and select and save the manufacturer's thread charts here to the bottom uh, as a template so that they'll come up every time you open up your program. So today um, I'm going to show you what happens to the EMB files or any type of uh, machine file that you bring in from a third party or if you even if you're saving an EMB file inside the program and you're bringing, and you're bringing it back in as a DST file. Uh, here we have an EMB file on the screen and all I'm, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this as a DST file. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Export Machine File. Desktop. Making sure that it's on DST. And I'm going to save it to my desktop as so. Now I'm going to create a new page. Okay. Now when I go to File this time and I open this design up, um, here is my design DST file and I'm going to just open it up on my screen and so the colors are different uh, than what they were before and because I've saved the default uh, manufacturers thread charts here uh, it defaulted to the colors that are there um, I want the same colors that uh, originally were with the design so I want to bring those in as those colors and you could do that as well, even if you're bringing in a DST file from a third party. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this, I know beforehand what the colors are. Um, I know what color number one, two, three, four, five, and six are. So I know what the color, I know what the colors are, and I know what the color codes are for my design. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to import that design back in and show you how it's done properly as far as doing a DST file, bringing it in. Um, using your manufacturer's thread colors. I'm going to go to new page. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to import the embroidery. As I navigate to my desktop, I'm going to select my DST file. Now I'm not going to open it yet, but I'm going to navigate down to the bottom of my pop-up here and I'm going to select options. Once I choose options here, um, normally uh, this is going to be on either color change or stop if you've never used this before. Um, I'm going to change this uh, to custom. Okay. And I want to go to define my stop sequence. Okay. And as soon as I left click and select this, I'm going to get a list here on my screen. Now, I have my Madeira thread chart here on the bottom of my screen here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to assign the colors for my design based on the codes that I have. So the first color, I'm going to click on the bottom of the screen here. Here is my Madeira thread chart here is what you're looking at here. But I know what the codes are so I'm going to type them in fine. The first one is going to be 1995. I'm going to press enter. You see the code appear as color number one. Number two is going to be 18. 66. I'm going to press enter. The next one's going to be 1566. Enter. The next one's going to be 1954. Enter. The next one's going to be 1593. Enter. And the last color is going to be 1800. Enter. So I've delivered all of the correct codes for my design. I'm going to click OK here. Okay, and I'm going to verify by clicking OK here. So now when I go in and I open up my design, here we see that the thread colors here are matching exactly what I put in here is 1995, 1866, 1954, 1593. And so we have our colors. Now I'm going to minimize these by removing all the colors that are not used. So I'm going to click my little X here. And so now, so we have our colors, our original colors for the design, um, originally when it was saved as a EMB file. So again, this process basically when you're going to use this, 
um, using the input method, going into the options, uh, changing it to custom, and assigning your user defined stops. So that is how you actually will properly bring in a machine file inside of the Embroidery Studio E4.0 uh, system. Thank you very much for your time. And as always, we ask that you visit us at www.willcomamerica.com. Thank you.